we went into elections to vote, to the exercise of our franchise. Those who feel that they are more vicious than Pharaoh, far more vicious than the most vicious rulers of this world that preceded them, have decided to turn this election into a war and have targeted our people everywhere. In the Batustan of River State, sadly in my place, attempt to hijack voting materials by the element of APC, supported by members of a court party and the security forces were prevented to doing so at a body in Akuta local government. As at the last count, over 30 persons were killed in cold blood by the Nigerian security forces. To add insult and pepper to our wound, APC leaders are justifying the killing of their own people. It's so sad. So, so sad. We ask the question, why was Ibisaki killed? Was she one of the Ulongs that were commanding the talks in Abonima? Why was a mother of two a teacher killed. The people who invaded Buguma and took away Adaye Prince we snatched him out from the hands of my sister, my younger sister, Buma Gude. Was he also commanding a detachment of talks when he was snatched away and up to today nothing had been heard about him or his whereabouts. The people who invaded Okrika and took away all the voting materials, who are they? Who authorized them? The people who invaded Opopo did the same thing. Who are they and who authorized them? The people who want our votes in Lagos and continuously killing our people to this moment. What is our crime? Our crime is that we refuse to vote for a tyrant. But like I had always said, for every pharaoh, God created a Moses. For every Goliath, God created a David. Yoruba people should know that the attack on our people will be revenged. We will not fold our hand and watch our people kill. You walk at Escravos. You walk at Focados. You walk at brass. You walk at Bonnie. You walk at Eket. You walk all over our land. You have flown with shoppers from Lagos to our oil field to take our money away. We are telling you. Call on your people to stop the harassment of our people. It is not only one set of people who can kill and maim. It is not the exclusive preserve of Yoruba people to cowardly kill unharmed 
traders from Biafra. If you also follow what you are doing, there will be no Yoruba family that will not be crying. If you force us, we will do what you want us to do. Let the world be put on notice that for every blood shed by Yoruba people in Yoruba land, we will take retribution for it. We will not mix words. We only need to give the command. And it will be complied with accordingly. You saw our people. How we fought gallantly to defend ourselves. In wars, there are two things. Either dead or victim. We are not afraid or ashamed of the truth. We are ready to pay the supreme price. Many of our leaders paid the supreme price. For three gruesome years, you attack, rape, and kill our people. Massive destruction took place in our land. You killed Adagabon. You killed Sarawiwa. We are not afraid of death. We are asking you to seize immediately. We have the right to exercise our franchise in Lagos and other parts of Yoruba land or wherever. And if you attempt to continue in your madness, then madness 